Hey everybody, this is Alex Fantasy, and I am back once again, bringing you another exciting episode of our Let's Play. We're back with some Pokemon Raid for the original Game Boy. We're doing a little mini Nuzlocke version here, as always. And in our last video, we were able to defeat the fourth gym leader, Erica, and we're now finally able and ready to move on back to Lavender Town after also acquiring the Silph Scope in the previous video from Team Rocket. So. As we head on here, we're going to take a look at our Pokemon coming into this point of the game. I really regret giving our Weeping Bell cut. But we can see here, with the moves Cut, Acid, Vine Whip, and Sleep Powder, it's rocking a level 32. Gaia, our traded Graveler, which evolved into a Golem. You can see its moves there. Very nice, very nice. Our Pikachu! Very nice indeed. Swift, Mega Kick, Thunder Shock, and Thunder Wave. Vaporeon, who we recently acquired, who's about to learn his first water move, hopefully, in this video. Mew, level 35 as well. Only five levels away from earning that lovely psychic maneuver. And we'll finally be able to use a lot of TMs on it. And our Charizard! Very nice indeed. Alright. So. Before we, uh, again, we're on our way back to Lavender Town, but before uh, we do that, you actually just want to make sure you do have that fresh water, because this is actually a little bit quicker way. Whoa, boy, I'm parched. Huh, can I have this drink? Gee, thanks. So this will unlock the route into Saffron. You can do it almost immediately once you do have uh, the, uh, the ability to buy this. So now we can enter Saffron City, which is just west of... Um, Lavender Town and east of Celadon, so... What do you want? Get lost! Oh no, it looks like Team Rocket is here! Saffron City, the shining golden land of commerce. Boss said he'll take this town! Oh no! Oh, there's a gym there, and oh wait, we can't... Get out of the way! Oh, looks like we're not able to go really to anything right now. Saffron City Pokemon Gym, Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. Oh wow, well she is a lot further down here. The Fighting Dojo! Oh, really? Can we actually go into this fighting dojo? Yeah, it looks like we can. I know it's a little bit early, but uh, maybe we'll give it a try. Since we're here. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Oh, well, all right then. Bring it on. This black bat wants to He's got three Pokemon. How strong are they? 31, okay, they are decently strong. All right, Vaporeon, let's start off with putting up a Reflect. Very nice. Ooh, a low kick. Didn't do really a lot of damage. We'll go Sand Attack next. Uh-oh, increased its attack power. By the next attack. We'll pretty much just have to hope we can get our Vaporeon here to level up. Get that first water move. Yeah, I did. I wasn't planning on doing this. I was just planning on just walking all the way through or whatever to Lavender Town, but I mean, we will be coming back to Saffron actually even before we take on the fifth gym leader. So, because what I like to do is I like to view all of the available trainers beforehand. So, whoa, a Hitmonchan! Well, let's throw our Weaving Bell out there. So these guys will be pretty close to what our levels are, so that's pretty nice. Let's go with Acid. Or just take a Comet Punch to the face. Okay, Acid Attack! Uh, let's try Vine Whip. Are we going to hit with Comet Punch again? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, like I said, we're, we're running... I wasn't really expecting to do this right away, but hey, we might as well. Take on all the available trainers and stuff like that that are, um, you know, before we even get to back to Lavender Town. We might as well. Oh, come on! Are you telling me it's still hanging on? Oh, okay, good. It went for agility. Thank goodness. Very good. There we go. Weaving Bell gets the job done. His final Pokemon's going to be a Primeape. All right, well... 
Um, you know, we might as well go with Mew here. Unfortunately, our, the primate's decently strong at level 31. The evolved form of Mankey. Let's see what Pound does. Eh, very little. Uh, let's try a Metronome. Ooh, a Gust Attack. Uh, it's a normal type move, obviously. Whoa, we got a critical with it. Very nice. Well, we might as well go a pound again. Hopefully he knocked it out. Nice! Alright! A victory for us there! Oof! I give up! The prime fighters across the land train here! Oh, really? This is a fighting dojo? Okay, so it's kind of like a little mini gym. I hear you're good! Show me! Well, I guess alright then. Two Pokemon. Whoa! Hitmonlee! Again, like I said, with the variety of Pokemon changing and everything like that, it's going to make this a little bit more... We're going to see some Pokemon that we normally don't see or whatever until certain points. But these guys are going to have them already. So he increased his attack, but I did throw up a Reflect, so... Damn, he just keeps raising his attack. Let's go with a sand attack here. Make it so that he can Whatever, if he goes for like a high jump kick or something like that. Wow, he just boosted that thing's attack so much. This could do some serious damage. Oh, yeah. Big time. Come on, he needs to miss. Okay, that works. That's fine with me. Keep doing that. Alright, critical hit! Next Pokemon's gonna be a Machoke. Oh, shoot, I meant to switch out. Alright, well, we'll have to switch out now, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our Mew out there, because I think it's the only thing that's strong enough. Another X attack or whatever. They really like losing those X attacks. With a mega punch! Wow, barely. I mean, it did a decent amount of damage, but. Let's try a metronome. Ooh, a sludge attack! Critical hit! And it's poisoned! Yes, that'll knock it out then. Very nice, we'll take the hit. And it will poison itself into oblivion. Vaporeon now level 31, so that means it will now learn a water gun. It's first water type move. I really, really wish that wasn't the case, but that was me being stupid. But we're not too far away from getting another water type move for it, so still a decent ways away, but now at least we at least have one. Judge one point! Our master is a pro fighter! Wow! Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training. Whoa. This fighter. Whoa, level 36. Yikes. Um. Well, at least we'll be able to withstand that no problem. But wow, these guys are a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, wow, four times. Mega kick! Nice. Let's go with another one here. Seriously? Another Fury Swipe? They must not have any fighting type moves. Which is very nice or whatever at this point. So I've been finally starting to work on, at this time, uh, you know, I'm about, again, we're about a little about halfway through the game here, at least for badges and everything like that. Uh, I'm at that point now where I've started to work on editing the Pokemon Blue version. So. Yeah, I'll stubbed fingers! The only thing that frightens us is Psychic Pokemon! Well, that's not true. There's plenty of other things or whatever that can do some serious damage to you guys. Let's put our Charizard out, out there because he might actually be the only one that can really, uh, hoo -ah, take your shoes off! Who might be really strong enough to really give these guys a run for their money. Because, like I said, we're at a point now where these guys are having a little bit... Oh, my God! 
Um, slash? Yikes. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Thankfully, we weren't paralyzed. Another critical. Oh, we're going to sleep, though. Uh, let's go ahead quickly and use one of our awakenings, as we cannot stay awake for this. We need to be awake for this. Oh, thank God, double slap. That's fine. We should be able to win now. That polyrath was kind of a shock. Bless you, bud. Bless you. His next Pokemon is going to be a Hitmonchan. Again, unfortunately, our Charger does not learn any flying-type moves. At least I don't think it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Charizard, unfortunately, does not learn any flying-type moves in Gen 1. At least for red and blue, anyway. Wow, you went for Fire Punch? Really? That's kind of weird. Especially due to the fact, or whatever, that, um... You know, due to the fact that I'm literally a fire type. Yeah. It doesn't learn a single flying type move, even though it is part flying. That is absolutely ridiculous. But, in yellow, it totally can. It can learn fly. That is the only flying type. I can't even learn Sky Attack. That's just bonkers to me. Well, that's alright. I mean, there's not really much else or whatever that I can say that, you know... I don't know. It, 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 it still just seems really crazy that there is there is a decent amount of fly, uh, fighting type, uh, flying type moves that you can learn. But the fact or whatever that Charizard literally can't learn any is just, again, mind-blowing to me. <sighs> hmm. Try again. Mega Punch. Nice. Critical hit. Level 37 now for our Charizard. Still needing Flamethrower. Really would like another Fire type move. Yo! You'll wait till I'm a small fry compared to him. Oh, really? Well, before we do that, you know, we definitely need to heal up because we're going to kind of count this as a gym where we can't go back and heal up or whatever out of, uh, you know. Definitely need to heal up or whatever because this guy or whatever, he's going to have like a level 37 Pokemon, I think. So Charizard again might, Charizard and Mew are definitely going to be our main fighters in this point. Grant! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You must challenge us. Hey, expect no mercy. <laughs> Another battle for us. All right. This black belt wants to battle. Level 37, Hitmon Lee. Let's go, Charizard. Let's start out with Slash. And this is kind of like a little early test for us. Because, again, we're going to get to a point where we're going to see a lot of Pokemon or whatever that are not going to be really, um, you know, not, not as strong as we are, especially a decent amount of trainers, so. I mean, there are some that did get a little bit of an increase, but there are going to be some more wide variety, again, of Pokemon, so. His final Pokemon will be his Hitmonchan, level 37 as well. Try a Mega Kick, and 120 attack power, and it, that little, really, and we got critical. Well, we survived it at least. That's the important thing. Let's get that critical and end this battle. Very nice. And we defeated the Black Belt, the Karate Master. Hoo-ha! <laughs> uh, uh, beaten! Indeed, I have lost. But I do not beseech thee. Do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I'll give you a prize. Fighting Pokemon. Choose whatever one you like. So we have a choice between Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan. I always choose the hard kicking Hitmon Lee. His full. Oh, we can't even accept it! Oh my god, really? So I literally have to go back. I gotta find the Pokemon Center here in Saffron to even get him. 
That's just bonkers. We gotta go all the way down. Here's the Pokemon Center. It would be great if the Elite Four came and stomped Team Rocket. Oh, looks like there's Team Rocket all over the place. Pokemon growth rates are different from species to species. All right. Silf Company is very famous. That's why it's attracted Team Rocket. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, I'm gonna heal up while I'm here. And then we'll have to go change the PC. I must, only, I must be in PC box number one. I did, uh, I forgot to change back to number two the last time I was there, so... There we go! So we'll make our way back and we'll get that Hitmon Lee for ourselves. And like I said, there is a Pokemon here that we can also explore while we're here, and there's a few other houses that we can, I think, get into, so... Again, we'll take the Hitmon Lee. We'll have to try to find the Hitmon Chan at a later point. There we go. There's no room for Pokemon. Hitmon Lee was sent to PC Box number two. Oh, stay behind and train with Karate, karate with us. I wish I could, bud, but unfortunately I have to move on. Can't get into the sixth gym, obviously. We are way too early for that. Oh, watch where you're watching. Watch where you're walking. That's rude. Revive it, but it costs, but it's cost a lot. But it does heal a Pokemon. Max repels longer than Super Pokemon. Uh, super repel. All right. What do we got? Sixty-one hundred dollars. We got hyper potions. Yes. Let's go ahead and buy twenty of those. Very nice. Escape rope and full heals. Finally. Again, this is also a reason why I like stopping in Saffron, because you can get a lot of items that you normally, you know, don't usually get until you come back after the fifth gym. But this way or whatever, you're able to pretty much just go ahead and get all of these right off of the bat. Oh, I still have TM21 uh, with us. I'll have to put that in the, um, in the box. Should have done that or whatever, but either way, there we go. Got a bunch more healing items and stuff like that, which is very, very useful. We actually cannot get into Sylph Company. I'm a security guard. Suspicious kids are I don't allow in. Oh, really? Sylph Company office building. Okay. Being evil makes me feel so alive. <laughs> okay. Trainer tips. New Great Ball offers improved capture rage. Try it on hard to catch Pokemon. All right. So let's see. We don't need to do anything there. With Sylph under control, we can exploit Pokemon around the world! Wow. Oh, what's this? No, oh, Mr. Psyche does! Right, this is where we can actually get another TM! <gasps> Wait, don't say a word! You wanted this! We received TM29! It is Psychic! It is the most powerful Psychic Take move in the game. It also lowers the special of certain Pokemon a certain percentage of the time. We will go ahead and deposit that along with Michael Drain into the PC box. Because again, we do want to get duplicates of those later on. So we can level up our other Pokemon and make sure that they all have the best available moves at that point. Okay, there we go. Alright, so there's not much else we can do in Saffron while we're here. How many Great Balls do I have? Just the five? That's fine. We still got a bunch of Pokeballs too, so... I think we're good there. Trainer tips. Full heal kills all ailments like sleep and burn. It costs a bit more, but it's more convenient. Yes, that is certainly true. Hi, thanks for the cool drinks. That's right, he'll share with all the other guards, so that's pretty neat. All right, so now we can make our way back. All the way over. I mean, technically we could have flown, I think. I think we have fly now. I think we can fly now with Erica, but we don't have a flying Pokemon. So, yeah. That does make it a little bit more difficult. But anyway, now that we are back and here, and we do have, again, the Sylph Scope, we will now be able to see the Ghost Pokemon. Unfortunately or whatever, we don't really have a Pokemon that really does a lot of damage to them. We'll try our Vaporeon and our Pikachu, I think, for now. But, like I said, we've already defeated all the trainers and stuff in here, so... We just literally need to try to capture the one Pokémon that is in... Or, sorry, the two Pokémon that are in here. And there's one of them. That's Ghastly. 
Let's go ahead and try our water gun against it. And again, we'll try to throw one of the Pokeballs at it here. Hopefully we don't critical hit it. Ooh, Nightshade! That does damage based on, again, the opponent's, uh, the Pokemon's level. So, Pokeball, go! Hot damn! Ghastly was caught! New Pokedex data will be added for said Ghastly. It is the Gas Pokemon, number 92 in the Pokedex. It is four feet tall, and it weighs less than less than a pound, only 20 because it's all gas. Almost invisible, this gaseous Pokemon cloaks the target and puts it to sleep without notice. Ooh, very spooky. So there we go. So we're definitely going to have to try to find the other Pokemon that is in here. I mean, it's a little... It's a, ne it's a decent place or whatever to try to get a few more levels, but honestly, or whatever, uh, it's not really important, so... And like I said, we did find all of... Let's see, I think we did find all of the... Uh, I think there's one hidden item we didn't find in here, so we'll try to find that now. I think it's right here. Yeah. There's an elixir. There we go. All right. So that is the one that we needed to find. And again, we're still looking for the other Pokemon that is supposed to be in here. And there it is. It is a Cubone. Just like our rival said that he did capture the little one, he could not find... Uh, he could not find the grown-up Marowak because you can only find Ghastly and Cubones here. So there we go. We have ourselves an opportunity here to capture... Cubone, and that's great. Two growls, that means I should do less damage as long as I don't get a critical with this last swift. That's fine. Ooh, a hard bone club. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Pokeball, go! Uno, dos, tres. Cubone was captured. New Pokedex data will be added for said Cubone. It is the lonely Pokemon, number one, zero, uh, 104 in the Pokedex, a little over a foot tall, 14 pounds, because it never removes its skull helmet. No one has ever seen this Pokemon's real face. So. Well, there we go. Come on, gotta go down. There we go. We'll automatically get healed once we go into this purification zone. And again, there is the only two Pokemon, no other Pokemon... Uh, that we really need to capture or whatever. Or we can go ahead here and capture level 25. Haunter! Uh, I kind of forgot that. Was Haunters always available here? I think there were, but I think they have like a really, really low encounter rate. And I mean, like I said, technically or whatever, we don't really need to try to capture. We can always just evolve our Ghastly. But hey, it's right here. Oh, darn it. Oh, no, we're confused. Well, let's try one of the Great Balls. Oh, look at that. The Great Ball works, and we get a level 25 Haunter. New Pokedex data will be added for said Haunter. The Gas Pokemon, number 93 in the Pokedex. It's over 5 feet tall, weighing the exact same as Ghastly. Because of its ability to slip through block walls, it is said to be from another dimension. Ooh, spooky. So yeah, technically I didn't really need to capture that, but what the hell. Just for shits and giggles. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go back in here and heal up our... Vaporeon, since it was paralyzed. And we'll probably have another battle with another Cubone right here. Nope, just another Ghastly. Get out of here while we can. Oh, come on, really? I think this is the last, last area that I need to go through to get to the top. Come on. Just, I should have brought a repel. But then again, I still wanted to get, I would have never caught that haunter. So. What 
Oh, Jesus, it appeared again! Another one! Level 26! Holy Kraven Haven! Alright, so we've got to the top here. Big Hall on Intruders! Oh, spooky. So the ghost appear. This is what will appear if you do not have... You know, if you do not have the Sylph scope, you know, it will never, you'll, you'll try, you'll have to battle it, but it'll always, you'll never be able to attack your Pokemon too, too scared. But you can use a Pokedoll to actually get by this point, or you can get the Sylph scope, and it's revealed to be a wild Marowak. It must be the mother Marowak. And we get a one hit KO, sending it into the afterlife. The ghost with the rest of the soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Wow. Well, all right. Now we can actually head up in here. What do you want? Why are you here? That's right, Team Rocket's here. But why? What could they ever be here for? Whoa, a Paris. That's different. All right, Vaporeon, get on out there. Leech life, huh? All right. That is different. Oh, we got critical, too. A whole whopping 12 damage. Oh, come on. Paralyzed now, too? Uncool, bro. Very uncool. Oh, crap. All right, well, let's go ahead here and use a, a full heal or whatever on our Vaporeon. Hopefully it doesn't decide to use... Another blasted stun spore. Luckily, it did not. He's swift. And a critical hit gets the job done. Next Pokemon is going to be a Venonat. Oh, so looks like maybe this Team Rocket member has got itself a decent amount of bug Pokemon. Uh, let's go ahead here and get our, uh, our Weaving Bell out there. Try an acid attack. I don't think it's going to be super effective. Or is it? Oh, it is because it's a bug. Or is it bug grass? I don't know. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and just blast it with acid until it's dead. Bye bye Final Pokemon is going to be a gold bat. Let's go ahead and choose. Looks like it just a little bit all over the place there for Pokemon, but that's all right. Hi, bud. Do you require assistance? Okay. You also require a bum change, because you're a little silly little dude who really needs to learn to use the potty. Oh! I did not do the right move. Oh, thank God. Uh, let's go Thundershock. Haha! -ha, critical hit! You are dead, dead, dead. And you, little man, are getting the bum change of a lifetime. So, bing, bang, done. Super effective. Oh, yeah. Just like this bum change, bud. Bam, bam. Yeah, that's right. You were just a cute little adorable baby boy. You really need to, use to learn to use the potty, though. But you are fighting it, and it's annoying. But that's what parents do. They take on their little babies all day long. Okay, the victory is ours. I give up. I'm not going to forget this. Well, definitely you are. That's why you're running away. That's nice, bud. Oh, old guy came up. Oh, we're talking over as an adult. Okay. This Team Rocket member wants to battle us, too. He's got two Pokemon, including a Coughing. All right, Vaporeon, get on out there and just water gun it away. I want to deal with a tackle. Ah, I think it missed. Well done. And a Hypno. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's throw up a reflect here. And 
bloody hell I went to sleep. Well, let's go ahead here and use that freaking full, uh, that uh, freaking full health thing. All right, water gone. Barely did anything. Ah! No, I hate being going to sleep. No. And now we're just gonna get sit there and moked on by confusion. Bet you screwed it up again, didn't you? Yeah, we're done. You're done. Sorry, kiddo. You keep bringing it back. I told you. You keep bringing back your thing without turning it off. I'm not gonna give it to you again anymore. Why don't you go play? Go play with your toys. Why don't you get the toys that we were playing with earlier? Oh, that's rude. No, go play with your toys, bud. We can play... We, if you want, I can come play with you. Thor, just run away all sad. Yeah, I was so sad, Dad. It's gonna be swift, huh? Yeah, mother! I absolutely knew that was gonna happen. Dude, you literally just did that. He is just super mad. <laughs> That's okay, though. He will live. The boy who lived. Oh, critical hit. We need him to have a miss, or we need a critical ourselves. Oh, no. Oh, it didn't work. And disable no more. Our Vaporeon with a tough battle against Hypno gets the job done. Please, no more. Pokemon aren't good for are good for only making money. Stay out of our business. Wow, that dude is just uber rude. Just do a full restore. And it looks like this is the final guy. You're not saving anyone, kid. Four Pokemon. I'll go back to start. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing a more, again, a much more detailed version on in Pokemon Blue to make it so that the guys that I'm facing, like the levels and stuff like that, are gonna be a little bit harder for certain trainers specifically. Like this guy in like the remakes is like an executive, I think. So. And in Pokemon Yellow, you actually just fight Jesse and James, so. Level 32 now for our Vaporeon. Next Pokemon's gonna be a Fero. Oh, all right. Well, let's get our Pikachu out there then. I'm another level 25. Yeah, definitely think over there I gotta make them a little bit stronger than the gym leader next time. At least that way I can ensure that we can level up a little bit faster, you know. Because if we don't, then, it's, like I said, it can just take really, really long to level up. Trying to learn agility! No. Pikachu is definitely already fast enough to avoid pretty much everything like that, so. We'll send our Gaia out there next to take on this level 25 Raticate. All right. Let's start off with that massive mega kick that we're known for. Nice. And his final Pokemon is going to be a Gloom. Oh, interesting. We'll throw our Mew out there next. So not a not a bad variety of Pokemon, you know. Again, it will change how our Pokemon get stats, you know, like what kind of like where they're uh, how hot when they level up and stuff like that. Whether it's going towards their attack, defense, special, or speed. So because again, we have a much different variety of Pokemon to face. Don't fight us, Rockets! You're not getting away with this. Well, I just did. So I don't know what you're talking about there, bud. It's just a regular Pokemon thing? I guess so. Huh? You came to save me? Uh, thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. 
You didn't do that, I did. I think the Marowak spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Huh. Alright, I guess we're back here. Mr. Fuji has been praying alone for Cubone's mother. Oh, alright. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. Uh, Red, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help you with your quest. We receive the Poke Flute! Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Well, ain't that neat? Has my Poke Flute helped you? Uh, you just gave it to me. Oh, what? Uh, I'm an old man. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, Fuji. Anyway, that is actually going to bring us actually to the end of our video here. We've gone ahead and uh, we went through Saffron, defeated the uh, Fighting Dojo, which was kind of a shock. We're doing it a little bit early, so that was kind of nice. We got a bunch more items. We came there and saved Mr. Fuji, got the Poke Flute, and it also means that we can now go ahead here and deposit that silly old Silph Scope. Very nice. Indeed, we still need to hang on to the bike for just a little bit longer, and we still need to. We're going to hang on to the Poke Flute because again, it will help us uh, uh, cure any Pokemon that is uh, sleeping. Uh, eventually, we won't need to use it. We only need to use it twice, pretty much in the entire game. We have full heals now, so that pretty much does everything. So we're all healed up, and we're going to decide uh, which way we're going to go. Do we want to go through the cycling road and get to Future City faster, or do we want to have another video where we go south from here first, and it'll be a longer video and get to Future City? So. We'll have to decide on what we're going to do. Again, don't forget to leave me some comments for nicknames. Letting me know if there's any nicknames that you guys would like me to see for Pokemon. And we will do that. So, yeah. There we go. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. I'm Alex Fantasy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. If you're on TikTok watching this, don't forget to, again, like and share. Uh, comment and repost this video for others can see it. Yeah, again, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, don't forget to hit me up with a comment or just a direct message. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time with more Pokemon Raid for the original Game Boy. Bye for now.